You're watching Kansas City Television live. This is KCTV 5 News at 9. Well, it's also National Sewing Machine Day, honoring the invention that not only changed the garment industry, but changed the way people viewed the clothes they wore. We talked to a historian, and later in the show, we're going to take a deeper look into the history of the sewing machine and some of the impact it had here in Kansas City years back. If you're waiting on pins and needles, coming up, celebrity historian Rafi Andorian walks us through the history of the sewing machine and shares some facts you might not know. Today we're celebrating an unsung hero. The wheel, telephone, and the personal computer get all the glory for changing human lives. But if you've ever taken a home at class, you know the importance of the sewing machine. That's right. So joining us now is celebrity historian Rafi Andoni. I want to thank you so much for being here today. You look snazzy in the pink tie and the well, gray suit. I love about it. Fashion, I have to be right. That's right. We're talking about the thing that made the very thing that you're wearing. So let's just talk about the sewing machine. Uh, what? Did people think about this when it, I know this is kind of a silly question, but what did people think about it when it first came <laughs> well, out, right? Like they could make their own clothes. Like many it. things, you mentioned the computer and these mm -hmm. kind of big pieces of technology, there's always going to be different opinions on this sort of thing. So it was split. We're talking over the course of the 19th century, for 1820s, 50s, 1860s, and so on. And what happens is some women are excited about it because the middle class women say, hey, this frees me up because I don't have to spend as much time sewing, right? Mm -hmm. I could get a year's work of work done, work done in one week, as one woman put it. And now I can go take part in pleasure and leisure and these other things. But some other women didn't like it. They said, really? It doesn't replace the sort of uh, nuances of using your fingers, your nerves, mm -hmm. your bones, and your fiber, as they said it. So there's a split opinion. What was it about the machines that made them so popular? Because for those people that were hesitant because it didn't have the feel, I'm sure that it took a little adjusting. So what's interesting about that is that as much with technology, often the technology exists beforehand. Like right now we're talking about AI. That technology has been there for a while. But social changes have to happen to start to accept it. And the social changes that happen for this piece of technology is what I would call the democratization of fashion. And all that means is that whereas previously you had to get like a dress entirely made for you for fashion, that only wealthy women could do that. Regular folks could not do that. Although that wasn't always the case. As we get into the 20th century, into the middle 20th century, when mass, when dresses as a whole became mass produced, as opposed to just the parts, now it was cool to go buy the dress as a whole. It wasn't cool just to get the parts to anymore, because it's cooler to do what the celebrities do at that point huh. with mass media and follow what they do and get the mass dress that they're wearing on you. So let's talk about some of that mass production of the garments, because this paid an integral part of the history of Kansas City. We have an entire district dedicated to garments and manufacturing of garments downtown. That's right. So over the course of that 20th century, starting in the 1920s and certainly into the 1980s, you have a major garment district here in Kansas City, one of the largest in the country. They were known for everyday wear. Like blue so jeans. For example, too, blue right? jeans yeah. is a great example of everyday wear. Absolutely. In World War II, they're making underwear for soldiers. They're making uniforms for soldiers. Afterwards, you have the blue jeans. You have what's called a house dress, which is casual and mobile enough that you can wear and do things in. You can move around in it, but has some ruffles and some extra kind of <laughs> sazz to it so that you can actually look good while you're doing the work. How relevant is the sewing machine now for families in Kansas City? <laughs> you know, what I think with that is it depends if you want to engage with sort of now we would think about it as dated technology, right? But sure. if you go places like you go to a tailor, you'll still see this today. I would say, you know, it's relevant if you want to engage with classic embracing the, embracing the retro. He is the celebrity historian. <laughs> That's Rafi Andonia. Thank you again for being here this Thank morning. Thank you all.